For this week's activity, I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to create beautiful textures and patterns in your watercolour paintings uh, using salt. So this is just regular table salt, um, anything you have around the house. And the first thing I'm going to do, just to give my painting a little bit of perspective, is I'm going to make a stencil. I've just taken some scrap paper and I've torn an edge with it. Um, if you are following this step by step, um, I'm going to use two different techniques. So the top half, so above the stencil, we'll use one technique, the bottom will use another. Um, but feel free to experiment yourself um, as you kind of get more confident with how you're working. So as you see, I've just torn this piece of paper and I've laid it on the bottom half of my picture. So I'm basically covering out the bottom half. And then I'm going to take a brush, so there's nothing on it, and I'm going to dip it in some clean water. And it is really important that it's clean. And I'm going to paint over the top half of my picture, all the way down to the stencil and slightly overlapping it. Once I've done that, I'm just going to mix up some watercolour paint. So I need a fair amount of water so it's got a bit of a consistency and you can spread it over um, the paper. You don't want it to drag. And then I'm going to repaint over everywhere I just put my water. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start introducing this um, kind of magic ingredient, which is your table salt. So I'm just going to take some in my hand and just sprinkle it over where I put the paint. And what you should see instantly as you do this is that it starts to react um, with the, the paint on the page and you get little speckles appear um, as the paint kind of repels um, some of the water in it. It takes some of the colour out of the page. Take a look at what you've done. If you then were to paint over this again, it will um, pick up and make some darker colours and like I said, the paint will react with the salt and you'll see this pattern appear. And the pattern that you're looking at will change slightly by the time the picture is finished because we're going to remove the salt at the end. And so it will change slightly, but you want to get some lights and dark tones in there and um, just make it so it's really clear that um, you can see the reaction that it's making with the paint. Now I found as I've been doing this that the best colours are like dark like colours or bright colours, so like blues, reds, that kind of thing, so that creates a high contrast with the white. And with this technique uh, the whole way along it's really important to make sure you let everything dry. So I'm going to let the paint at the top touch dry I'm going to leave the salt on for now, so just let that touch dry and then enough so I can move the stencil. And you'll probably find that it's bled underneath a little bit and that's absolutely fine. Then all I've done with mine is I've took um, a brush, it's quite a watery brush, with, just with some tiny amount of blue paint on it. And I've just um, run along, along my stencil line just to accentuate it and um, kind of give a lighter tone to that area. And that will create a barrier on my work so you can see the difference between the technique I use at the top and the bottom of the page. So for the second um, technique I'm going to show you using salt is where we're using salt water instead of clean water to paint with. Uh, so I'm just going to take, I've got about half a tablespoon, um, a little bit more of salt in um, that I'm mixing in with my water pot and this is a clean pot so I've changed the water. Um, so just mix it in, make sure it's mixed in really well. If you've got a bigger pot, kind of increase the amount. You'll see as you paint, um, if it, you don't feel like you're getting a reaction, just increase the amount of salt that you put in your solution. I'm going to paint exactly the same as I did to start off with. I'm going to paint this, but this time I'm going to paint it on the second, so the bottom half of the page. Um, so I'm painting my salt water solution on the bottom. It needs to be quite wet and saturated for it to create a reaction. 
And then I'm going to mix my paints using this salt water. So I'm going to, again, make it so it's quite a fluid, like dropping consistency. And I'm just going to drip paint onto the bottom surface and you see as it hits the page it kind of runs and creates this circle effect and it runs, spreads out from there and that's as it's reacting with the salt. So I'm just kind of playing around with different colours and textures while I'm doing this. So I'm just introducing some yellow and some red and some of this dark blue um, as well. And just kind of experiment and feed off the painting and see where it goes. And just kind of look at it, I've added some dark blue again into the top of my painting. I'm kind of looking at it now more in terms of aesthetically whether I like the look or whether I want to adjust some of it. I remember the salt still on the top, so if I paint over there, I am going to have this gritty texture as I paint on it. And just kind of, like I say, just experiment with that until you're happy with it. Once you think your painting is complete, you just need to leave it and let it dry, maybe for a good few hours at least. You don't want it to be touch dry, you need to make sure it's completely dry. And when it is, you can gently rub the salt off the top surface of the page where we sprinkled it on. So you just rub your hands over there. Some of it might be stuck at hard, so just be gentle as you take it off so you don't rip the page underneath. Um, but just kind of rub it away and then you'll end up with lighter areas underneath where the salt was.